Hello photography fans and welcome to another episode about classic cameras and classic photo gear. In today's episode we're gonna be talking about yet another cool camera yet another classic Kodak camera today we're gonna be talking about Kodak Jiffy 620 Art Deco camera let's take a closer look so here it is this is a Kodak Jiffy 620 Art Deco camera in its pristine condition. Yes, it is in pristine condition for its age. This camera is the first of a series of Kodak Jiffy cameras. There was a 620, 616, and that was first series. In the second series, they had 620 and 616. 616 being a little bit larger. 620 is the same size as 120 but the core of the spool for the film is a little bit thinner oh, a lot thinner so this camera was introduced between 1933 and 1937 it's called Art Deco because of its cool design on the front plate alright so let's open this up to open it you have a little button here on the bottom of the camera or on top of the camera rather depending how you look at it it's there here you press it the camera pops out you just grab the front element and pull it out until it stays locked until these two guys align and it locks well it doesn't look like much and it is it isn't it's almost like a box camera but I guess designer wanted to make a folding camera so that will fit in your pocket. <laughs> these pockets must have been big. Imagine all these photographers carrying these cameras in their pockets. Oh, we carry stuff in our pockets too. Smartphones and digital cams. Hmm. Silly me. Well, anyways, this camera has very advanced shutter mechanism. It ranges between I and T. I for being Instagram and T for being Twitter. So if you want to take a picture for Instagram, you put it to E, you push the button down, and automatically gets transferred to Instagram. And you can do funky things to it. But if you want to do Twitter, you just put it here, press the button, and record the message, and it will automatically post it to Twitter. No, that's not right. You're full of it, Chris. Yes, I am. I stands for instantaneous release and T stands for time release. What's instantaneous release, you asked? Instantaneous release on these old co cameras, Kodak or otherwise, equals to be about 130th, 150th of a second. That's instantaneous. And T stands for time, time exposure, bulb, almost like. All right, let's talk about the apertures. Or the aperture selector. Here it is. It's the little tab on the side and you pull it out. And it changes the iris inside the lens, um, behind the lens. And here's what I found by measuring. Uh, normally closed or pushed in all the way is about, it's an F8. Pulled out once give me f16 pulled out twice gives me about f30 so that's what it is and i shot with this camera unlike my previous kodak vest pocket i didn't shoot with it but this one is in pristine condition like i mentioned the bells are impeccable beautiful beautiful camera it was kept it came in the original box it was kept in the box i guess since the day it was bought how to focus this camera well it's very very easy you have two focusing selectors 
one is between 5 and 10 feet, and one is between 10 and infinity. Basically, just turn the lens, take a picture, turn the lens, take a picture. Uh, this is a meniscus lens, so the results are rather soft, but yeah, they're good. I, I'll, show, I'll show the results at the end of this video. You have two brilliant finders, and they are brilliant. However, one of them, on the mirror unglued itself, so I opened this up and I fixed the mirror up. So you have one for vertical shots, and one for horizontal. Oh, hey, 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 horizontal, vertical. Okay? So that's it. Let's open the back. Just pull this out. And here it is. You load your fresh film here. You put your take-up spool there. Inside, it does say, use Kodak film in the yellow box. It gets the picture. Alright, and it says to use Kodak film, very chrome, 620, SS, Pan 620, Pan Atomic F 620, or NC. NC stands for no charge film. No, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what it stands for. It's an NC. Okay. And here's a little red window where you read your numbers. What's cool about it is that you can open and close. So with modern films, you don't have to worry about the fogging because you just open, pick a little bit, uh, close it. I didn't get any light leaks with this camera. I think they were just foolproof. You just basically then match these two parts. Close it up until it clicks. And here, on the top, you have a nameplate that says Kodak Jiffy 620, made in USA, Eastman Kodak Corporation, Rochester, New York. What else I could talk about it? Uh, not much. Beautiful camera. Cool to walk around with. Uh, gets take gets the picture, you know. <laughs> gets the picture. And as cool as it is, I don't see myself using it a lot. I do prefer twin lens reflex cameras. This one is just good looking okay and oh my shooter with it again twinnered lens that's what it is means it's probably two element meniscus lens twinnered I didn't see that before I see it now anyways to close this you basically grab it here grab it here hold it on the bottom and push it down and the struts will open up like frogs legs like dong 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 and it clicks that's it, let me get the box. Okay, so I got the box, I put this on the side. Here's the box that came in. Original box, Kodak Jiffy. Very neat, oh, uh, yeah, the box has been repaired by me with a gaffer's tape. It's a cool box. And inside the box, there was original stuff with it. Original price tag, Jiffy Kodak 620, pictures two and a quarter by three and a quarter, number 620 Kodak film, eight dollars. And it was additional dollar sixty-five for leather carrying case, which somebody didn't get. And in the back of it, it says, use Kodak 620 film, useful accessories. We all need those useful accessories. And it says, Kodak Portrait Attachment, number 6A, 75 cents, guys. Why wouldn't you get it? Kodak Diffusion Portrait Attachment, $1.50. Kodak Pictorial Diffusion Disc, $2.50. All prices are subject to change without notice. And here's a book.
with very cool images and tells you how to take pictures. Very neat. And here, this book will tell you how to take snapshots. Of course, you need to know how to do that. It's a folding thing. It's basically essence of the stuff included in this book. I'll show you a little excerpt from the book. It's a little girl drawing a fish, showing it to her dolly. Whoa, there you go. Awesome. This is awesome piece of history. And I thank you, whoever I bought it from on eBay, for keeping all this stuff and, um, in perfect condition. I really appreciate it. To me, this is pornography. To you, it could have been junk. No, it doesn't go in a box. I, I keep the box separate and I keep my cameras in bags. No, 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 not sandwich bags. I keep my cameras in... What you call it? Low Pro Nova 5 bags. I got tons of these and I keep them in there. They're very happy there. Nobody, none of them complained yet. But this is what it is, guys. Cheerio. Well, photography fans, I hope you enjoyed the short introduction and overview of Kodak Jiffy and its box. And if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe. If you don't like it, you don't have to subscribe. Well, actually, you don't have to subscribe. Nobody's going to force you. Uh, I'm not going to force you. Hmm. Force people to subscribe. Anyways, if you enjoy these videos, I'm happy and leave comments, leave uh, messages for me. I'll be sure to reply to them. Uh, my channel is getting a bit more popular than it was a year ago. So keep it down, guys. And girls. So I'm pretty sure girls are watching too. So guys, and girls, and camera fanatics and pornography lovers, until next time, be sure you keep shooting film and keep that film alive.